Well, the University of Texas has brought the beef and the firepower to stir up a lot of excitement in the Arizona desert. But the Penn State Nittany Lions are accustomed to celebrating in downtown Tempe off Mill Avenue. They're a perfect 5-0 at the Fiesta Bowl. And tonight, it's the seventh-ranked Penn State Nittany Lions against the Big 12 champion, Texas Longhorns, in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Penn State and Texas about to meet in a bowl game for only the second time, the first time being 25 years ago today. Two superb place kickers. Who knows, maybe they'll come down to a duel in overtime here. Conway kicks deep, will not be returned by Mitchell. Next year, in his senior season, establish all of the career passing records at Texas that are currently held by Pete Gardier. In fact, the shoulder was operated on in the offseason. Slow start to this year, but now really sizzling here. He pitches to Sean Mitchell for only a one-yard gain. Longhorn backfield, led by Ricky Williams. Rush for 1,272 yards. Mitchell joins him. Mike Adams, record-setting receiver with Matt Davis and Pat Fitzgerald, an All-America tight end. On the line, Bishop Adams, Feeberger, and Dan Neal with his 49th straight start at Texas. Texas shows two tight ends. Derek Lewis, who caught the big fourth down pass against Nebraska, joins the lineup on second and nine. Brown firing. That's picked. Picked off all the way, just standing there. And it's Mark Tate running it out of bounds at the 26. Critical mistake by James Brown. Tate sets up Penn State at the 26. Curtis Enos running inside the 20, bowling over a couple of Longhorns down to the 11th. There's Wally Richardson, the senior from Sumter, South Carolina. Not just magical stats. Well, and he got hot the last four games of the season and really led Penn State to some important wins. Here's the handoff to Jason Slode, the fullback. He started every game, and Slode takes the ball all the way to the six. Enos with Slode. Jer Vicious, the main target, and a big one and fast one for Penn State. Chris Campbell gets the start at flanker. The tight end is Olsimer. Henderson, Ostrowski, Telch, Marsik, and freshman John Blick on the line. Second down and five. Lions from the six. It's slowed for the second time, and he picks up about three yards. Third down, two tight ends. Concho Brown comes into the lineup. Third and three. Richardson flings it. Man open. Touchdown, Penn State. Curtis Enos. Try from Conway, and it took Penn State almost no time at all. Just two minutes, 13 seconds to strike for seven. Cashing in off the interception. Richardson to Enos, and the Lions lead 7-0. Texas will run it out this time with Mitchell. Across the 20, down at the 22. With the exception of the left corner position. That's Sheno Prater who starts tonight in place of Brian Miller. Brown, man open, caught, and then dropped. Well, making a catch at the 38-yard line. And here's the Penn State defense with Snyder. Fornadel, noble and short on the line. Linebacking crew with Collins. Pilardi and Nelson, secondary. Shino Prater, a high school teammate, best friends with Mike Adams. They're matched up tonight, lining across from one another. Kim Herring, a strong player. Sean Lee also, and Tate with an interception early in this game. Ricky Williams touches the ball for the first time, and maybe a face mask call. Face mask, incidental, five yards into the run. First down and three when they add on the penalty. Brown slings it over to Williams with the juke. He picks up the first down, collides at the 50, and advances to the 48. So that's what you want out of your backs. First down, Texas. Priest Holmes in the backfield for the first time. He gets the carry. Priest Holmes slicing inside the 40 and down at the Penn State 38. What a lift, though, for John Cooper, your friend. 
I uh, couldn't be more delighted for John Cooper. I feel sorry for the Pac-10, but John needed that bowl victory. Second and one, Ricky Williams has the first down all the way to the 29. That's where they get their power, from the waist down. First down, Texas. James Brown improvising, open field ahead. He has five yards and more, slides for a gain of eight at the 21. Second and two. Sean Mitchell, first down. Has a tremendous amount of team speed. Penn State's feeling the effects of that speed right now. Back they come with Ricky Williams, who advances it inside of the 10. James Brown now play all three years, and he's unflappable. Throws the pick. He comes back undaunted, facing second and seven. That's Priest Holmes. But you need a little bit better percentage of that in the scoring zone. Call it third and five. All pass. Nope, Brown now tucks it under. And gets to the six. Mark Schultes, the punter, will hold it. Jay Humphrey, flag down. Ball, delay, five-yard penalty, fourth down. So Ryan Feeberger is actually going to handle the snapping chores here. 28 yards is the official measurement. Good piece of holding there by Schultes. 7-3, Penn State. Got it east, but they didn't get it all over the southwest and on the west. The kick by Schultes, fielded at the goal line. It's Kenny Watson. Actually, Cordell Mitchell. So from the 15, Wally Richardson airs it out. Man wide open. I'm talking no one within 15 yards of Joe Jurevicius. That could have been an 86-yard scoring strike had he caught him in stride. Second and 10. Enos loses a yard, maybe two. This Texas defense, the defensive coordinator, Gary Darnell, will be moving on to the head coaching position at Western Michigan. He has Gray Mosier up front with Hampton and Akins. Linebacking core with Hickerson, Renfro, Tyson King, senior and captain, Aaron Humphrey, a star freshman, and an all-senior secondary, Taji Allen, Chris Carter, Trey Thomas, Bryant Westbrook. A lot of people regard the Texas secondary as the best in the country. But all four could be playing in the NFL next year. That's how good they are. That pass batted down, batted down. Adams waiting to return the punt of Daryl Kenya. Adams at the 50, hit right away by two Nittany Lions. In Tempe, Arizona, Texas, first and 10, Penn State 47. Sean Mitchell breaks to the outside. And down at the 38. John Mitchell, the fastest of all the running backs, showed it right there. Second and one. Mitchell again. That's a first down carry to the 35. Mike Adams called him right after the selection show. So we'll settle this on the field. Good nature about it all. Ricky Williams, that pass play will net a loss of two from school. Brother Andre, in fact, an All-America, won a game against Texas with a block punt back in 89. On second and 12, Ricky Williams to the short side. It's set in the shotgun on third and 11. Brown, good protection. Finally, they come in on him. You can't fault the offensive line for in the punt. They have caught too much of it, and it goes into the end zone. Getting three on a Phil Dawson field goal. From the 20. Anthony Cleary into the game now. Aikens was somewhat questionable with loose cartilage in his left knee, but he started tonight. He's already made one big play. Richardson going long for Campbell and overthrown by a good eight yards. One, I'm sure they felt they had to win, much like Joe Paterno back in 72. That's Enos needing to get to the 31st. And Kenya punts for the second time. 
Fair catch by Adams at the 24. They don't script any plays. He just calls it as he feels the game. Brown, well, felt that one. And he connects with Mike Adams on the last play of the first quarter. With Penn State leading 7-3. to three. We'll return to Sun Devil Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. Texas dominating time of possession in the first quarter with 11 minutes of possession time. Priest Holmes out of the backfield in motion. First and 10 from the 40. That's Ricky Williams. Now to the 46. Striking the Heisman pose. Now Williams has stated publicly he wants to win the Heisman, but in efforts to downplay the hype, he burned all those baseball cards, Jim. All except for one. And Priest Holmes. Third and one. Down, Williams advancing it to the Penn State 41. Offside, defense, decline, first down. Dan Neal, one of the three finalists for the Outland Trophy. First down, Browns pass over to Williams. Wow, what a lick. Brandon Short, says Brandon Short. Second down and three. Almost intercepted. Kim Herring will need it here. Third down and three. All kinds of time. Good grab by McGarrity. First down, Texas at the 20 yard line. Had your eye on him all throughout the Texas practices we attended this week. Liked him all week. He's an explosive player, that guy. First and 10. Bootleg pass. Fitzgerald. And there's a flag down. Fitzgerald taken out of bounds at the 12. Offside, defense. Second time. But they play very well as a unit, and they run well to the ball. Texas refuses the penalty. Second and a long one. Priest Holmes. He wants to make sure they play well in this area of the field tonight. Third and five facing Texas. Williams lunging for it, but he's a good yard shy. Noble, 28-yard try again. He's already made one from that distance. Dawson with a low drill right through the goalpost. Texas has had the football in Penn State territory the last three possessions, but they've come away with only two field goals. Shawfee Fields, who will see some action today, and split in. Former tailback. Converted since the last regular season game. It's Watson. Tripped at the 16. Curtis Enos now set out as a receiver at the top of your screen. That's a 240-pound tailback out there playing wide receiver. And they go left side. Jervicious wrestled down at the 20 by three Texas players. Second down and six. Enos for a loss of one. A true freshman. Texas has some real talent. True freshman up front. What a catch. First down, Jared Vicious. That was second best for the top 50 receivers in the country. Richardson's pass. No shot at all. Second and ten. Play action, Richardson's pass, Ryan on target to his tight end. It's Brown into Texas territory. Out of bounds, starting defensive end for Texas. Indy Lions, first down. Get it back in, he'll be back in this game. He's a tough rodeo man. That's right. Rest to rodeo. Second and seven, Enos. There's a good piece of tackling. Third and six for Penn State. Richardson. They had Jer Vicious at the 25. Joe Paterno said if we punt six or seven times in this game, we're going to be in trouble. And this is already the third punt. Oh, look at the coverage by Penn State at the goal line. 
but they call it a touchback. It's a touchback. The ball comes out to the 20-yard line. Good call by the official. Ricky Williams out to the 28, who said one day he'd like to be, more than anything, a kindergarten teacher. Well, isn't that something? A big old guy like that wants to go and work with kids. And Brown sings it. He had to cross the 30 to Ricky Williams, and they, I don't think he got there. Now, Schultz in to punt to Chris Campbell. Campbell brought down by the first man. You're letting your defense rest. That's important when you're playing against a team like Penn State that wants to wear you down. Richardson going up top and almost intercepted by Brian Westbrook. Richardson connecting a four of ten passes. One for, an, for a touchdown. And he hands off to Chris Eberle. Set up third and about six. He worried about that matchup inside. Just barely beating the play clock. Third and six. Richardson rolling out. Ball free and almost caught by Campbell. Bob, along with Dick Anderson, the quarterback coach, is to get him settled down as soon as possible. Kenya to Adams, who makes the catch on the run, but down immediately by Macklin at the 32. This weekend on CBS. First down, Texas. James Brown airing it out long for McGarity. Double coverage back there. Jim, I've coached a long time in a lot of ball games. I've never seen a guy <laughs> doing a little fingernail clipping during a game. James Brown, man, open. It's Fitzgerald. And Texas is back in Penn State territory. I guess you could say James Brown is more frustrating than a hangnail. <laughs> And here he hands it off to Sean Mitchell. Bumbles the football. And did Herring, yes, Herring made the recovery before it went out of bounds. Penn State recovers. This year he was third in the nation in pass interceptions with seven. But this time a fumble recovery is the way the Lions get the ball back. And Enos off the screen. Takes it to the Texas 43. Which he does traditionally in every game. He goes ahead and takes over the play calling when he feels he wants to get involved. Most of the time, Fran Ganner, the offensive coordinator, is. Rolled out time again. Richardson tucks it under. Richardson carries. Joe says it gives him a better feel for the game. And then eventually he'll hand it back off to Ganner. Second down. Into the line for just a short game. You get pinned and you're just stuck. Two on the play clock, and again, they just beat it. Third down, pass, and bat it down. There is a flag down in the backfield and in the secondary. He took him down. Holding, offense, interference, defense, replay the down. This is one of the key matchups of the night. Juravicious against Westbrook. That's one of the keys. Looked like an outstanding defensive play to me by Westbrook. Yep. I didn't see interference on that. I did not throw in that flag. Penn State would be punting, but instead it's third and six. Richardson across the middle. That pass batted down by Chris Carter. Chris Campbell. Six or seven times we could be in for a long night. That's punt number five for Kenya. And it's going to be an interference call against Penn State. Look it over. Interference. Contact, 15 yards, by the foul, first down. Aji Allen also was down there, maybe the man who was trying to block him. Brown on the go. Here's Adams at the 44-yard line. Shotgun time on first down. Open room for Priest Holmes. Raider and Herring bring him down. Holding, offense, 10 yards from the spot. First down. North Carolina, that was the winning touchdown for Texas two years ago. McGarity, and a penalty against Texas. He has a strong arm. He put a lot of speed on that last ball. Across the middle, he's got his target at the 28 first down. Stop the clock to move the chains. James Brown, other than an errant first attempt of the night, has been hot. Oh, almost caught by McGarity at the goal line. 
Ricky Williams. Texas trying to surprise him with a run. What's Texas going to do here from the three-yard line? 19 seconds to go in the half. I look for Texas right here. They've got 19 seconds left. I look for him to, to use James Brown and his athleticism. He's the guy. They send Williams out in motion, and flags are down. Mm -hmm. Dead ball, false start. Timer, please reset the clock for oh, 19 seconds. There you go. So now Texas operates from the seven-yard line. Brown, short drop across the middle. Man open. The All America tight end Fitzgerald. It's second down, and again, Texas has a timeout so they can afford to run it. And Ricky Williams is in for the touchdown. They're going to go for two. Defense, that's what they did there. Going for two. All the way back at the 25. And what a chase put on by Brandon Short. Which is something they've been doing with regularity here at season's end. Little pooch kick. And Penn State will have uh, a shot at the people here in this area. Do they gather for the parade in the game? They, they love it. They've support, done a tremendous yep. job. Support the whole Fiesta Bowl week. And, uh, no attempted glory on the last play of the first half. Joe Paterno runs to the locker room, trailing by five. Williams, Ricky Williams puts Texas ahead in the final seconds of the first half. Longhorns. Penn State will have the football to start the second half. And Kenny Watson again is back deep. Flanked by Shawfee Fields. Schultes with the boot. And the Lions return it from the goal line. It's Watson returning across the 10, across the 20. He's got to see him across the 30. And here he goes. Kenny Watson. It's a race. And Taji Allen saves a touchdown at the 20. An 81-yard return by the freshman. His longest in his rookie year in the running play for about three with... Aaron Harris. States had difficulty moving the ball either on the ground or through the air. Richardson, good fake, has a man at the 11. Third and two. And Harris for a third time. And Anthony Cleary in the backfield. First and goal for the Lions who trail 12 to seven. To the five at the five. Harris outside. Harris in for the touchdown. State going for two. Enos in motion. Richardson, and it's complete for the two to Enos. And that gives Penn State a three point lead. Curtis Enos, not only a great runner, but a great receiver. Think of the two drives. The first one was 26 yards, and after an 81-yard kickoff return, this one was another short drive for the Nittany Lions. This is Sean Mitchell for Texas. Oh, good tackle. You think a block in the black, half a distance, first down. Starting at their own nine. Williams loses two. Second and 11. Brown fires it. Almost pulled in by Davis on third and 11. Shotgun from inside their own 10. Here comes the blitz. Brown unloads. What a catch. It's Davis with the first down at the 25. So Texas out of a hole. 
That was the third catch of the day for Davis. Williams stumbled at first, picks up only two. Second down and eight. Brown gets it away just in time. And incomplete, intended for Davis. Third down and eight, and they've brought in an extra defensive back, Penn State, David Macklin. Brown, great time. Open man, Ricky Williams, needs to make another move for the first, and he is denied. It took about four Nittany Lions. 9.42 to go, and it's a fake. And it's Westbrook running free all the way down to the Penn State 32. The old riverboat gambler, John Makovic, up to it again. This is the kind of play that you prepare for in a bowl game. You tell your players we're going to get an edge in the kicking game. Penn State got the big play to start the half. Texas comes right back with a big kicking game play of their own. Cody Danaher threw it. Brown with pressure is sacked. The second sack allowed by Texas in the last nine quarters. Nebraska never got to him. Sean Mitchell. Again, gang tackling. That fake. When he leaves Texas, he can say he was a thousand percent passer. Absolutely. Hit every ball he threw. Never missed one in a bowl game. Third and 21. Brown rifles. Holmes faking. Holmes looking for room. And he's some nine yard shy of a 49 yard attempt by Phil Dawson. He's made both attempts tonight, each from 28 yards, and he has a big, big time leg. Six kicks in his career over 50 yards. From 49 to tie the game, Phil Dawson has done it. Texas and Penn State all tied at 15 midway through the third quarter. There's Shoffy Fields. They're standing around the three-yard line. Short kick goes out of bounds. Penn State will have the football. Penn State starts this series from its 35. Out of the eye. They pitch to Enos. Enos gets outside his best run of the night. And ended up coming to Penn State because of a little ticket confusion involving Ohio State. And here he is, Enos, sidestepping one defender and getting all the way down to the 40. Marsick, by the way, hobbled off the field, the right guard for Penn State. Richardson gets planted, and Campbell makes about a three-yard grab. Second and eight, Penn State from the, Penn, from the Texas 38. It's Enos. Enos runs over a couple of Longhorns and is ridden down by Carter. More than he had the whole first half. First down play action. Richardson's pass. Nice catch by Concho Brown. Southmore. Joe Nastassi in as a flanker for the Lions. Second and two. Everly. Down to the five. He has great feet and he has been super the last couple of games of the season. This is Harris on first and goal. He gets about half the distance. Nothing wrong with backing up Franco Harris, I is say, there? I say, second and goal. Enos over the top for the touchdown. Get him back into the end zone. You need a lead blocker. Conway, extra point, good. Well, this is the kind of game we anticipated. It has started now to open up here in the third quarter. Enos over the top, and Penn State's on top, 22-15. A former Lady Lion softball pitcher. They will be getting married on July the 5th in Vancouver, Washington. Texas on the run back. Out to the 40-yard line. Boy, I tell you, that took a little guts. I'd be nervous. You might say no in front of her dad. He was so nervous he got sick and couldn't play <laughs> the game that week. He missed the game. Step throat. Brees Holmes for no gain. Scored on Aaron Harris's five-yard touchdown. 
Plus a two to Curtis Enos. Brown, good time, had the feet planted. And Matt Davis is having a saw Dustin Armstrong heading to the locker room, a little shaken up after returning that kick a moment ago. A freshman wide receiver. First down, Longhorns, and that pass through the hands of Pat Fitzgerald. Guy never plays without him. Second and 10, Priest Holmes. Men at the 46. But right now they face third and 10. Will Penn State stop him? Pass low. Is it ruled a catch? Incomplete, the second official says. Fitzgerald tried to scrape it off the turf. Right on the spot. The ball is definitely low. Kind of lost the view there. We kind of got blocked out. Train them to lie. Well, not to lie, to influence. Make to sure influence. you got to make sure they know you caught it. To make sure they know you caught it. And they have given up yards, and, and Curtis Enos is starting to rip them a little bit himself right now. And Everly who had a big run on the last series to set up a touchdown. Final 30 seconds, third quarter. Shoffy Fields is a receiver. He's going to get the ball on the reverse. Here he is, Fields. Fields in the open field, out to the 40. He's got blockers ahead. Shoffy Fields, the freshman from Philadelphia, out at the two. And Wally Richardson, the quarterback, with 13 seconds to go, third quarter. Slowed back in at fullback. It's Enos with blockers in front. Trying to get outside. Tyson King's over there. And Enos fumbled the football as he reached for the end zone. They say, hold on a minute. They say he was first out of bounds. Up at Washington State, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, that is so close. Uh, that is close. It's the second and goal play from the one. Cleary, touchdown. Conway's kick goes sideways. No good. Penn State, three possessions in the third quarter, three touchdowns, 28-15, one second to go in the third. A Big Ten record. Joe knows how important that extra point is. He doesn't want that kick to come back and haunt him in this game. He Matt Joyner. Brown. Again, they come in on him. He gets it away in time, though. Ricky Williams. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. The quarter has ended. A huge quarter for the Denny Lions, who scored three touchdowns in the third. To lead now, 28 to 15, and we'll return to Sun Devil Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. Texas, second and 10 on the first snap of the final quarter. From its own 20. Brown takes right up the middle. And through the arms, the shoulder injury react aggravated. He is uh, obviously done for the night. Third and ten. Brown. Adams. And trying so hard to get to the 30. Son. They're great friends. Schultes with the kick. Not a deep one. Fielded 35-yard line. Campbell. Campbell cuts back to the middle. What a run back. Chris Campbell. Boy, I didn't see it. Again, from our ultra-high angle, close games. Chris Campbell right there with an outstanding return. Fake and a flip. And Harris, oh, Woo! football free, but they say he was down. I want to talk about punishing. That is a punishing hit. Teeth rattling, and that was uh, oh. a fortunate break that he didn't fumble until... He hit the ground. And this is Everly down to the 23. And Dead ball, personal foul against the offense. 15-yard penalty, first down. Makes Penn State retreat to the 37. First and 10. Richardson. Campbell not able to grab that one. An offside penalty against Texas. 
and uh, they'll get to replay to down all the way back to 25 years ago when they played Texas in the Cotton Bowl they scored 17 on the Longhorns in the third first and five Richardson's pass as the first down at the 26 I think that's a prime example of what's happened first down Enos getting all kinds of running room in the second half and he's down to the 16 in the game with Penn State leading 28-15. Cleary. Out of bounds at the 10. Enos. Got three yards on that carry. Gary Darnell, the defensive coordinator, has to get this thing stopped. Only give up three like you say. It's so critical to keep your team in the game mentally. Second and goal from a seven. They got him again at the goal at the uh, line of scrimmage. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Richardson pass caught and what a critical tackle by Trey Thomas. And likely mathematically as Brett Conway had a superb senior season. Attempts from 23 and right down the middle. 31-15. to go in the game. And Peyton Manning, did he have a day today? Will it be his last in a Tennessee uniform? Well, that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Tackled at the 19. So 14 points for Enos tonight. And Penn State leads 31-15. James Brown... Almost picked off. Second down and 10. That's Ricky Williams. Short of a first by about five yards. Big play for Texas. Third and five. Brown got it away just in time. Man open. Mike Adams at midfield. Adams fourth catch of the night. 73 yards. That one went for 24. Look out, Brown fumbles. Brown Texas, Priest Holmes. Second and long, second and 15, and Matt Davis got tangled with Brown, who was thrown for 236 yards. Needs a long completion on third and 15. Look out, pick. And a flag down as Mark Tate came away with the football. Interference, offense, 15 yards, previous spot, third down. Well, they have a fourth and in inches play in their weaponry. What about third and 30? Well, it's hard to convert third and 30. Ricky Williams wrestled down by Matt Fornato. Ricky Williams has caught nine passes tonight. Schultes able to field the high snap. And a fortuitous bounce that comes to rest at the 38. Nine catches for Williams, but only 24 yards. Up is Penn State at its own 39. Running it with Eberly. Not until he picked up about 10. Michelle, you think if he coaches five years, seven wins a year, he, he, can, he can do that. He usually wins a lot more than seven a year. You better believe it. Anthony Cleary. That's what I, I looked at him and said, are you kidding me? Coaching as long as he's been coaching and being 70 years old, he was all over the field. Cleary has another Penn State first down. Ooh. Coaching staff that stayed with him. He says everybody's on the same page at Penn State. There aren't a lot of egos around here. Everly. Tripped by Westbrook, but not until he got to the 17. Penn State trying to Go 6-0 all-time in the Fiesta Bowl. Here he is again, Eberle. Shakes the tackle at the 10, and stops just shy of the goal line. There is a flag now. A tackle at the 10, Holding but it's all offense. 10-yard penalty at the spot the foul. Good part. Most awkward situation. Enos, he's running free. Touchdown, touchdown, Penn State. Two on the ground. Conway hooks it in. 
Enos with 95 yards rushing. Penn State dominating the second half here in Tempe, Arizona. And now leads over Texas by a big margin, 38-15. Five possessions amounting to four touchdowns and a field goal. Curtis Enos. Uh, He's the only other guy that I can compare Curtis Enos. They're different styles, but boy, has Curtis Enos put on a show tonight. Round to McGarity for five. All the skill of a tailback. Great receiver. Brown, that's a first down to Nat Davis. On that Texas offense, particularly here in the second half. In the first half, Texas dominated, but this has, half has been all Penn State. Just... Five minutes remaining. Second down for the Horns. And no Texas player really close to Alabama giving Coach Gene Stallings a victory in his final game. Brown, nowhere to go. And yet, one team is going to get the national championship. It's really not fair, and it's a, it, it adds credence to why people feel there should be a national playoff. They should have shared. They should have shared that chance. They would have shared the championship if that happened. Penn State should have shared it two years ago. Mike McQuarrie in at quarterback. Hands off to Jeff Nixon. Couldn't have conceivably beaten Florida State in a one-game matchup. Well, remember, that's what Joe Paterno and his Nittany Lions had to deal with last, a couple years ago in the Rose Bowl. Cordell Mitchell gets that carry. They, their one loss would have been on Florida State's home field by only three points. Going to the outside with running room. It's Cordell Mitchell. Out at the 11. Horns in, uh, in the locker room and afforded the national championship, basically. And of course, that's why Joe... But he's going to increase his record as Joe Paterno on New Year's Day to 13-4. and four. Well, and, and, and you know, Jim, another thing, including James Brown, that quarterback, and Ricky Williams... Those guys are, are very, very good football players. Third and seven, Penn State denied. You better be careful with the head coach there now. 45 seconds, fourth and five. Mitchell unable to get to the goal line. Penn State went to an unbalanced line. Dollars to each school's general scholarship fund. Priest Holmes. Playing his final game and that kept him out a year. And now Texas with Brown dancing around. Look out. He unloads just in time through the arms of Scarborough. Day in college football. Coming up shortly with Pat O'Brien, Craig James, and Coach Lou Holtz, who's done such a su superb job in our studio the last two days. A catch by Brian White to close it out. Joe Paterno gallops off the field with yet another victory. Penn State 38, Texas 15. The Nittany Lions finish the year with an 11-2 record. Texas falls to 8-5.